Well, the red team's um, main course, this is uh, floating through space. I don't know. <laughs> you know, I look at it and it looks weirdly like one of those pictures you get a space junk, because there is no form, there's no order to it. I quite like that. Well, let's, let's try it. Yum. What a good plate of food. Yeah. But what a surprise, isn't it? It looks like a very random selection of ingredients, but actually really successful. And the beef is beautifully cooked. You know what's clever? The little scatterings of dried olive is sort of the bit that I like the most in terms of that reference. I think the title's quite clever because it's floating through space. It could mean all sorts of things. It's a really nice, really nice dish. That's it, all the main courses are done. Now we need to keep the momentum on desserts, yeah? Clean down, set up, get ready to go. Nothing to chance, yeah? Well, what a fantastic round of um, a main course. I think there's some delicious food there. Some people have really nailed the brief and they've cooked well. A couple of little little flaws, but I can't wait to see the desserts. What an amazing dining area. What, and what an amazing vista. So the dessert, it's going to have to match up to that. Mm, yeah. Yeah, that's better. Right, guys, you should not be slowing down. You should be speeding up because we have two minutes before the first dessert goes up. Okay. Caramel's good? Yeah. Perfect. I think that's good. Red team? Yes, Gary. Yes, Gary. you got to go. You've got 90 seconds, yeah? yeah? Don't miss it. It's coming in. The pod's coming in now. Behind, 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 behind. Brilliant. Brilliant. Yellow team, you need to be ready to roll, yeah? Yeah. Yes, Come on. Gary. It's such a relief. We've got savory out and we didn't miss not one pod, but now it's time for dessert. It's daunting. Green team, two minutes to go. Yeah. Yeah. In the home stretch, girl. I need to cut holes in the domes. Oh, come on. I'm realizing that the chocolate is a whole lot thicker than I wanted. But, you know, this is a revolving restaurant. It's not like the customer's gonna wait for me. I've just gotta hurry up and get these done. Green team, you ready? Yep. Yeah. Let's go. Come on. Heston's here, so it's really, really important that everything's amazing. So we've decided to add a bit of space junk to our dessert. Your pod is coming in now. Yep. So you've got five seconds to pod land, so you've gotta go with these desserts. The space junk. It's something that you can put in the middle of the table and sort of dip into. It's just a fun surprise to have popping candy. Let's go. Let's go. Cool. Okay. All right, that's good. We finally fixed the mascarpone cream. It's just smooth, it's silky. Oh, more, more, more there, more on the cusp. But I still don't know how the chocolate financier sponge have worked out. Right, maroon team, you're next, yeah? Yep. Yeah. We've got to move really quickly so that we can replate up and get the food into the pods. The dish we have is a chocolate financier. Enjoy. Thank you. Red team, get back on again, yeah? Yep. Quick, 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 quick. Come on, are you ready to go? We've got to go. Yep. yep, we can go. Hey, you'll miss the pot if you don't go now. Come on, Harry. All right. All right, we're going to be up very, very shortly, all right? Yep. Our sweet dish is the black hole. Yellow team, you're on in two minutes. What I want when the judges eat this, I really want them to dig in and go, ooh, I'm surprised. There's a bit of cream, there's a bit of crunch. So I put the crumble at the bottom, a layer of fresh mango, and I've got the caramelized white chocolate crumb, which is delicious. Then some cream, the black rice, and finish that with an oil. I'm so proud of the spheres. They look really good. I want them to put this orb in their mouth and the jelly will burst and the beautiful coconut, lime, ginger flavor will pop in their mouth. This dish is something different and I want people to look at the dish and go, wow, that's funky, you know, that looks good. That's awesome. It's hard to balance the excitement and the nerves. Black hole? Yep, excellent, thank you. Go tea. Because Heston is going to be eating my dish. That is, to me, a dream come true. I like the look of it. I love it. I feel like I'm not, I've ever been or ever going to get onto Mars, mm -hmm. but it, it, it has a feeling of that. But the whole the whole idea of it being a black hole and this kind of little little lime gel planet being sucked into the black hole. I love the fact that when you touch it, the leaf inside actually moves. So it kind of feels like a planet. You know, everything you need for human life is there. Water and some greenery. I think that looks great. Yeah, love it. Oh, try that spherification. 
It's actually really good. How good is that? I think it's lovely. Oh, okay. what's, just, just, what's that in the middle? Is it a bit of the fudgy stuff? It's like a coconut biscuit. Yeah. I love all the stuff that's been sucked into the black hole. Yeah. It's just a discovery in every bite. Really nice range of textures. Yeah. I, I think that is an absolutely fantastic dish. I think we all agree. It nailed the execution. It, it nailed the inspiration. There were surprises aplenty. It was unique. It was unusual. Yeah. Well, Teresa, since she's come back, has been a totally different cook, I think. And, gee, it's another impressive dish. Right? They've set the pace for the desserts, haven't they? Yeah, in a big way. Right, guys, hope you're enjoying your night. So here we've got the black holes. So we've got black coconut sticky rice with caramelised white chocolate and mango. Yeah, it's for those gel yeah, spheres. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yes. <laughs> That's cool. That looks so cool. Maroon, yours goes up in one minute. That's better. Yeah, isn't it? So much better. The new mascarpone is great. So we've got enough cream here. But I really want to test this sponge. For own, go. But we've got like no time. So if these chocolate financier sponges aren't beautiful and light, I think we're in trouble. We <laughs> hope we're okay. Some Maroon team's dessert, um, Trent and Heather. What do you think, guys? There's something crazy and comedy about it. I love the way it's skidding across the plate. Heston, in terms of financier, what, yeah. what are you looking for? For me, financier should be light. It, it's heavy. Really heavy. It's really heavy. 